What's up guys, it's Draco, and today we're going to be playing one of the most underrated, slept on zombie survival games out there, Days Gone. This little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Man, a little kid would never catch me lacking. I would stomp that bitch out in a second. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? There's a stab wound in her stomach. He's, he doesn't have a clue what's going on. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. Hey, at least he was straight up. He has got no clue what he's doing. He finished grad school during COVID, so he did it all online. He just cheated. Okay, I can only take two of you, two. All right, babe. Sorry, but I'm going to have to leave you here. Me and Booze are getting out of here. I wonder what it'd be like to get a tattoo on the top of your head. It just, it just seems kind of uncomfortable. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, uh, you're not looking so hot. Oh my gosh, she looks like that baby meme of the, <laughs> the really ugly baby. <laughs> yeah, no shit, he's shooting it at us. Me and Deacon are a lot alike, except for the whole, uh, you know, not letting your wife die in the zombie apocalypse, you know. He went that way. Oh, oh you, you could just sniff him out? All right, looks like you dropped some uh, dung here. If I take a whiff of this, it'll definitely help wait, me track wait, wait, him down. Wait. Holy shit! Get oh, down. he just shot me. No, I don't want to get down. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Neither can you guys. It's the Battle of the Stormtroopers. I don't remember how or when he got shot. Okay, I thought we were tracking his poop, not his blood. Aw, oh, man. I would have totally left him out here to die. All right, now let me just take the random items I found off the ground and make a bandage out of it. There we go. <laughs> that should be clean, sanitary, and especially sterile. Looks like Leon got the last laugh. A couple days ago, a bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Oh, that's probably not foreshadowing anything. Hey, excuse me, sir. You can't park here. <laughs> idiot. Am I the only one pushing? Where's Boozer? Why aren't you pushing with me, idiot? Fine, I'll just do it myself. I knew it was foreshadowing something. Of course we get jumped. Oh, nice. It's a bit slippery back here. I should probably uh, tightly grasp around your waist, Boozer. What do you say? It's two bros on a motorcycle. All of a sudden, it's a horror game creeping through a tunnel. It's pitch black in here. The zombie apocalypse definitely didn't do any favors for Deacon. He's a psychopath for sure. Yep. Oh, I forgot. After you leave Sarah in the helicopter, Deacon's wife, she ends up dying. No wonder Deacon's all upset. He's just a, he's just a sad bro. Get your paws off. Boozer, help me, please. Oh, wait, I forgot. You're useless. All right, Boozer, you're comfortable? Just making sure. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to, you know, walk around or stand or do anything stressful. Oh, cool. Another one of those stinky another holes best. we can burn. Come on out, fellas. Bonk. <laughs> night, night. They seem friendly. I said we go, uh, meet the locals. Why are they eating each other? Oh, come on. That's it's like your little brother. That's a kid. Holy shit. Get out of here, you little shits. Oh, my God, those are little kids. Can I kill the kids? Who can I loot the dumpster? Oh no, I could just become the trash. Just like mom always told me. Ooh, a baseball bat. This will be fun for bonking. Oh, oh, it's one of those little kids. Come here, little shit. Where are you going? I got a baseball bat. You remember T-ball, right? Oh, oh, oh my god. Stay back, little kids. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> Jesus, Deacon doesn't hesitate at all. Like I said, me and Deacon got a lot in common. Yeah. That's what I thought. He's got little quips for when he beats up little kids. No, 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 no. what? Oh. Ah, shit. Boozer, you don't sound okay, but I'm just gonna continue looting, all right? Grab me some ammo while Boozer gets eaten alive by the Rippers or whatever the hell's going on. You guys horsing around on my friend. Calm down. They're making fun of his tattoos, yet they have scars that kind of act as tattoos. How you doing, Boozer? Being as useless as always. My arm. My arm. My arm. Oh my gosh. Well, we met the friendly neighborhood cult. Conveniently enough, her only companion is now completely useless and can't help us anymore. God, why don't they let me steal his bike? He's not gonna use it. Who the hell's that? Come back, you pervert. I follow the pervert back to his camp, and apparently there's more perverts like him. Probably taking pictures of us while we're sleeping. Weirdos. I saw something. What? Nope, you don't see anything. Men coming. You don't see anything, sir? God damn it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Jesus, where did you come from? Beat up like the little kids. Oh, oh never mind. He's pretty smart. Uh, what the hell? Did he just dodge that? Oh, God, they're, they're really smart. Oh, no. Did they steal my bike? Oh, I knew I should have taken Boozer's bike. Hey, you're from Koblenz camp? Where the hell is my bike? Why am I chasing this poor guy now? 
on, hey, come, here. come back here. <laughs> Running back into his camp. It didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one. <laughs> like this one, smart ass. Oh, those are ears. Ugh. All right, well, she gives me money for ears, so here you go. Here's some more ears. Yes. You freak. God, I thought I was a psychopath and or insane. Oh, I'm in a lot of pain too, man. My wife's dead. My boyfriend's arm got burned up pretty bad. And you guys just parted out my bike. Now he's making me work for him and I don't even have a bike to get around because he parted it out. Why are you here? I work here, dumbass. Well, well now I do. I just want to say how sorry I am. <laughs> Dick looks so mad. Oh no, there's a, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide at the dumpster. Oh, later. Oh, what the hell? No way he knows I'm in the dumpster. What the hell? Maybe he smells the ears I stole off his buddies. Get the hell out of here. Go eat a little kid or something. I know that's what you guys like. Idiot. Got him. Shut the hell up. Once again, Deacon's just screaming at inanimate objects. This guy must be a psychopath. I'm convinced now. All right, take some meds for myself, because Boozer's useless. If he can't pull his weight, he's not going to get any weight. What the hell? I don't know what's in this. Yeah, sure, might as well just put in some more stamina. Yep, that's how it works. I think I just took performance enhancing drugs. Now he's gonna start abusing drugs. This is not a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. We can get these bandages later. He's sleeping, man. Let him sleep. Hey. Jesus startled him quite a bit. Alright. Jesus, very stubborn. God, he wants to do everything himself. Did you tattoo your own forehead? Huh? Did you do that yourself? Let the professionals be the professionals. Okay, so I took a break for a while, and I don't remember what the hell we're doing. I I'm gonna go kill some people, I guess. <laughs> I don't think the smoke coming off my bike is very healthy either. I mean, I mean for the environment, not so much the, you know, my, my, myself. Oh, they already heard me. <laughs> yep, they're already opening fire at me. I guess pulling up in one of the loudest vehicles known to mankind was a really bad idea. Yeah. He even talks to dead bodies, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, just really quiet in their ear. It's so God. weird. If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, though, would I? Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Yes, I have the choice, and I want to shoot you. Ooh, spike bat. That'll be fun for hitting kids with. Thinking about Boozer talking to me? I think there's meant to be a conversation going on, but I'm asleep right now. You let her go, didn't you? See, even Boozer wants me to kill her, too. I, I, I should have killed her. I, I knew it. I should have. All right, well, I just murdered another dozen men for no reason. All in the name of, uh... A constitution or something? I don't even remember. I've already alerted him that I'm here because I'm still in a conversation with Boozer. And I pulled up in, once again, the the loudest vehicle known to mankind. Burn you, burn you, and burn you. Alright. Okay, that went pretty smoothly. Oh no, there's still more of them. They'll tell legends and tales about me, Deacon. All I do, I'm just a killer. Everything I've done in this game so far is just run around and kill people for no reason. All because they may or may not be plotting to kill me. Maybe that's the point of the game. Maybe you're like really paranoid and like schizophrenic or something or a psychopath. I've kind of gotten that feeling so far from Deacon. He talks to himself and dead bodies a lot. Now this guy looks like he needs help. I'm just gonna leave him out here. Oh yeah, he's getting surrounded. He's toast. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> He's done for. Dude, Boozer keeps calling me over and over and over again. He's like a clingy girlfriend. Jesus Christ. I've had this brushed up Boozer, we're heading north soon conversation like four times now. I'm not even exaggerating. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of schizophrenic episode I'm having. My God, he's on the phone with me again, bro. Can you please piss off, Boozer? God damn. There you go. Enjoy. I yeah, I don't want to have a conversation with you. You scare me. I think my reign of terror here as Deacon and Days Gone is going to be it for today. Consider subscribing if you are new, dropping a like and a comment with your feedback down below is also very much appreciated. And in the meantime, check out some more of my content here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.